Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie and I'm here to help you win with money. Today is the last day of trading week number 32. It is August 13, 2021. Again, the last day of trading week number 32. The market looks flat. Who knows what's going to happen? It is so tight. It may actually end. I think it may actually end red. I mean, I know there's about an hour left in the trading day. NASDAQ is already red. It just looked like it's not enough, um, not enough air left in the balloon, and it, it seemed like it's going to let up, sort of like this. You see how it rebounded? But I think it's going to look like this in the last hour. It may actually downtrend, and they all may show red at the end of the day. So that's my guess. And now, if you want to reach out to me via Facebook, I do post most of my trades on Investing 102. It's an investment uh, group on Facebook. I do post different things. I post 401k balances, crypto, credit card points. Uh, here's a trade. You see that? That's a Tilray one. Again, I post trades on Facebook because it's just a lot easier and faster. It can only take like two minutes to create a post. Videos take much longer. So if you want to see more trades and more activity, you can just go out to Facebook group. You see this. I post trades out here. So that's where you can reach out to me, learn something new about investing. That's where you go, Investing 102, right on Facebook. So let's open up E-Trade and let's see what trades we can do today. So before I begin any new trades, I'll talk through what I already did. You see this? This is a couple hours ago, three hours ago. I did a trade. I rolled a cover call up, $1 in strike price, collected a super small premium. That's $6, not a lot. I have no idea what's going on, but again, I'm just rolling cover calls. And here is my, I closed this iron condor for a small profit. And that's why I had some cash open up in this account. So that's what I'm going to do today. Let's, let's create a new iron condor on SPY and we'll probably go five contracts again. So let's, let's show you how, you, how to do that on E-Trade. So the first thing I'm going to do is just load up E-Trade, go to the options trading, type in the symbol. You see that? I'm going to use an iron condor again and automatic populate. Now I'm going to load up power E-Trade, which is over here. I'm going to use some of the, the Greeks to let me know how to pick the time and the date. Okay. I mean the time and the strike. Here's power E-Trade. I'm just going to change the symbol. I'm going to select the SPY. You see how this is toggled. Now you got to go to the dates. What I'm going to do is look for a date that I like. And you see this is already toggled. That's 35 days. Let's untoggle that. And I'm just going to look at the calendar. 38. This one is 42. And this one is 48. So I'm going to probably do this 48 one. So we'll start with 48 days. And the first thing I want to do is just scroll up and see. I'm going to look at the delta and the percentage of happening. That's what this is here. So I'm going to keep on scrolling. You see the deltas are really low. Here it goes. I'm going to probably start off with something like again like a 395 which is a nine delta less than one percent chance of happening and i'll go 10 wide and i'll show you what i mean there go back to your form here i'm going to select the date first we're going to go september so that's a 48 day so expiration the first thing i want to do is go to the to the put side i said that we're going to do a four i think it was a 395 is what i said because what that is, it's, this is less than uh, 8 delta, and I'm going to go 10 wide, which means I'm going to risk $1,000 per contract. And you have to go subtract $10. That's a doubt, and there you go. The next thing I'm going to do is look at the call side to see what I should pick. So you go back to Power E-Trade, scroll down. We're going to look at the delta and the percentages, and I want something with a smaller percentage of happening, so I may start somewhere around here. You see this, this is a 10 delta, 15% chance of happening. I may want to go further if you want to go safer, but we'll start there. We'll look at this uh, uh, 465. Go back to this screen, 465. If you add 10, that will put you at 75. And let's see how much it will give us. So this is what it's telling me now. It's less than a dollar, which I don't really like. So that means I'm playing it too safe. I may have to bring up and make this a little bit more narrow. This is a $70 wide iron condor. And if you do the midpoint, right, you just add the two up and then divide it by two. And then obviously, I'm only giving myself 
buffer on the upper end, and then I have a full uh, $50, $50 buffer on the bottom end. And I tweaked it slightly. I just moved it up to a 404. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll do five contracts on this one. And that's a $100 you'll collect today for each one. If you assume that you get it for 108. And if you see that, it will say, and I'll show you what this looks like when you do the preview order. Here's the impact of the buying power. So if you do five contracts, times $1,000 each is a $5,000 impact minus the proceeds you're collecting. So the broker will only hold $4,468 because they're getting the proceeds to get today. So that's how it works and that will leave me with $3,500 of power in my uh, buying power in my account. So let's put in the trade and we'll see if it goes through. I may have to move it down one penny or so. You see normally you just have to move it down to a, if it's a 408 I may have to move to 407 or 406 to get this trade across. So we'll try 407 right now. And that's how you put on an iron condor. It's not very hard to do. You need to have um, spreads, level three or level four, depending on your broker. But an iron condor is just a spread. Let's try that. I, I don't think it's gonna go across. I need to lower it. I forgot to lower it. You see that? I just basically hit the same button twice. And I think it went across. There you go. It went across. Here I'm going to do a cover call. I already have a contract. So what I want to end it. I have a contract for about a month out. Maybe it's five weeks out. It's at a 138 cover call. It's down today. I actually think Electronic Arts will move up. So I want to roll this cover call further into the future. And I'm going to try to get $145 into my account today. So let's do that. Let's try to get this cover call across. I'm not worried if it goes down. I'm holding these things for the long term. So I trade cover calls. That's why I want to move it up now before I think um, Activision got upgraded recently because there was a couple of downgrades from other scandal. And then I don't remember is it City Group that upgraded it. But I expect video games to eventually rebound again. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, and just like that, you see that at 3.35, it got a, uh, executed here. I rolled it up basically $7 in strike price. I pushed it out another three months in exchange for that risk or my obligation. I got paid another 140, um, a little bit under $1.40, 140 bucks. So that trade only took me about seven minutes to put on between my S&P one. There's only a few minutes left to the end of trading day and you see it is down, down. I don't think, I think the S&P is going to stay in record territory. I, I was seven more minutes. I don't think I'll, I'll be right. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, hey, with that being said, don't forget, hey, please like, comment below, share these videos with other people. If you're a beginner, like I said, I don't really cover beginner topics, but come back and watch some of my videos. Watch how I trade. Uh, these things are going to help you become a better trader. I want to help you win with money. Uh, let's do this $1 at a time. As always, have a profitable day. Bye-bye.